Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia, Spain. Quite windy, cloudy. We expect some more rain today, more than an inch, more than 25 millimeters. That will make me very happy. I will walk along the southern border, the higher border, and uh, I want to record what is there, how it changes over time, because that is important to us. The nature here is beautiful. Here we have a natural area set aside for conservation. As I walk along the border, there are quite a few holm oaks, the anthenas, and also the asabuche, the wild olives. Then this cystus brush, the jarra, and then uh, quite a few other plants but uh, very limited in uh, species variety something like we would like to encourage to develop more species I'm not so keen to plant more species let's see what comes up by itself here at the edge of this natural conservation area is a uh, Roble Americano it's one of two out of a hundred that survived okay at least it's not a hundred percent failure only 98 So as I go a little bit higher, this is the flat area, the Altiplano. It's quite a bigish area, perhaps almost an hectare. The flattish, flattest part of our land. We started planting it's an experiment, some alfalfa and rye and oats and let's see what develops. Here we have a few nitens, eucalyptus nitens. Seven out of a hundred survived. All of them in this area where we planted them all along the fence uh, still a magic topic for us because we don't know why. This one grew extremely well, makes me happy. Then we have this second natural area, it's called a narrow area. This is actually the highest spot on the land. It was made when the road was made and it, the soil got pushed over here. Why like that? I don't know. But uh, this is how it is. This is also where I had to install a knitted fence, woven fence, to keep the pigs out. So far it's working. 
we are one of the only people with acorns because we don't have animals yet so uh, maybe we can expect more deer and pigs to come and collect it this is also uh, something we've learned that Egyptian vultures will come and eat when they have nothing else and it appears that they are doing this we had about 40 or 50 of them sitting in the trees here a few times quite a beautiful sight So this is the first entrance of water from outside the property, not rain, but in the creek. This creek is coming from the mountain up there. And uh, it comes through a culvert under the road. This road is quite interesting. It is one of the roads set aside by the dictator Franco as main passages that crisscross the country. And huge areas but I mean like uh, for uh, uh, railroads or for roads and uh, vast vast distances and this is one of them so it also concerns me because this is the end of this uh, Moorish infiltration system Kanat and it always starts with a mother well. It taps into a well. Now, from my understanding, that should have been somewhere there and then the road was built on top of it. So I have no idea wh where it is right now, but uh, one day we'll find out. This entrance of the water through this tube over here is the first rain of the year in September is quite violent so this first rain after the long dry summer where everything turns into powder brings a lot of debris sediment and quite violently so I have the structure here where I tap into this water and it takes it to the swale right to where I come from it works quite well I this was an experiment and now I have some wishes to make it more permanent with some adjustments this is the next conservation area this is the second high point equal height to the other one just beautiful wherever there were rocks and trees this is also where the farmers couldn't plow so the trees could develop naturally and uh, thank God for that or else it would have been a desert still with this Franco Road 
it's quite wide for the countryside. Not because it's busy, it's just because of one of these highways set aside by the dictator. Quite a beautiful view from here onto the neighbor's land over there and the Picos de Arroche mountain range. This conservation area is quite big, might even be a hectare as well. Still on the southern border. This is the second of the flat areas, quite small. Where we have planted some jacaranda, vetiver. Jacaranda, Vetiver, Paulovnias. They are slowly preparing the leaves to fall. And as the names say, leave, we will just leave it. And uh, then we wait for the next season. We have planted some rye there and some daikon radish. It's difficult because we planted some rye after the first rain and it did not sprout. And then we planted rye after the second rain that grew. So uh, if we do get the rain today, then we look forward to this is the recycler of the leaves. Eat it, Max, eat it. And, uh, and if we have the rain, we will start planting again. Last year we had no rain in the new year. So, uh, According to the long-term forecast, this year we might have rain in spring, not like last year. This land is in the shape of a slice of pizza. I started at a round border and now I'm walking towards the pointy end. Lots of acorns. You are not an acorn. Come on. Push. And here is the uh, second entrance of water from outside the property. We have the rain and then we have these two culverts. And this is actually quite a long, long lasting water supply because when it rains on this road, it's a tarmac over there, it slopes to the other side and then it all comes down here, same as that. So uh, it keeps flowing for many, many hours after the rain. And that is quite special and useful to us. It is the culvert. The water comes down here. Now, uh, in all my naivety, I have done some uh, special things. 
some community member even says this was genius so maybe I will take that feather in my cap the water comes rushing down here slows down through that gabion and then the water carries on to the lower swell system or the higher swell system higher than that one not higher than this point and when I want more water this way I just throw more leaves in here I always have a bag available leaves and uh, this is now enough this is perfect for half of the water goes through and half of the water goes here anyway I'm happy that it unfolded like that this is the end the end of the property line just to show that the other day we had a little bit of rain so this dam filled up my the change I have made to this leaky area here is working well a lot of mud and I have a cinder block in here good this one is full as well happy to be back I've been away for 10 days nice to see it all goodbye